Christ. Shalom Israel to the house of Israel. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. And we here today. On today, we're setting up here. We're gonna get ready to go into into the lesson, but before we do that, let me say this. Uh, we were talking before, and I said that we're going to um, <clears throat> go into uh, some things that uh, T.D. Jakes has said. And let me say this: I don't want any uh, anybody to get too offended because we we use strong strong words sometimes, and we go hard sometimes. But it's necessary because Israel sometimes is a hard-headed people, so it's necessary to go in. To go in like that but we really want you to hear today the lesson is being said because we're gonna make sure that we cover Romans 11 some of Ephesians and other scriptures so you can get a proper understanding of today's lesson which is a covenant with Israel that's the name of today's lesson a covenant with Israel so we wanted this is a very important lesson and please, for all of our uh, our Christian our Christian uh, brothers and sisters, to pay close attention and get a proper understanding. So now we're going to go into our Torah reading, and we want to uh, and we want to uh, get a, a, a steam yah from that from that reading. We want to steam the body from uh, read from the uh, words of the Torah. So Hallelujah. hallelujah. All right. Today's law reading uh, is going to talk about marriage a little bit, and the books we're going to use are Genesis, Exodus, and Leviticus, starting with Genesis 2 and 24 first. Therefore shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Men, we have to go find our wives. Um, but basically what, what goes with this scripture is in the New Testament and it's in Proverbs 18.22 Whosoever findeth a wife findeth a good thing and obtaineth favor with Yah so this, What's the scripture again? Proverbs 18.22 Okay The next one we're going to go to is Exodus 20 and 14 Exodus 20 and 14. Thou shalt not commit adultery. <coughs> when, you, when you are married, you are not supposed to go outside of your marriage sleeping with anybody. If you do, that is adultery. The next one we're going to go to is Leviticus 15, 16 through 18. And if any man see a compilation go out from him, then he shall wash all his flesh in water and be unclean until the evening. And every garment and every skin whereof, whereon is the seed of compilation shall be washed with water and be unclean until the evening. The woman also with whom man shall lie with seed of compilation they shall both bathe themselves in water and be unclean until the evening. Basically, this what it, what it says is, y'all got to clean yourselves and everything that body fluids have touched after relations. Hallelujah. And the next one is going to be Leviticus 15, 19, and 28. And if a woman have an issue, and her issue in her flesh be blood, she shall be put apart seven days, and whosoever toucheth her shall be unclean until the evening. 28. But if she be cleansed of her issue, then she shall number herself seven days, and after that she shall be clean. Basically what this says is when your wife has her cycle, you are not to touch her. But after her cycle, you still have to wait seven more days before you can touch her. 
So the amount of time is her cycle plus the seven days. That's when she'll be clean and y'all can have relations again. Now, the last thing I wanted to discuss on the Torah reading, we're done for the Torah reading, but I wanted to sum it up in Ephesians 5, 22 through 25. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands, as unto Yah. For your husband is the head, it is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as also Christ has loved the church and gave himself for it. That concludes today's reading. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Brother Ivan, for the reading of uh, Torah and the reading of Most High's Word. So, today's lesson, let's get into it. That was some, that was some good Torah reading, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Good Torah reading. Um, Today's lesson. Let's do it. Let's do it. Like I said, today's lesson is a covenant with Israel. So our job, our job is to find out, number one, who gave the covenant, number two, who was the covenant for, and number three, did the covenant end. Did the covenant end? A covenant, or another word for, for covenant, is contract. So we heard our 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 our, our brother Jakes. We heard him, T D Jakes, for all those who know what I'm talking about. We heard him says that said that he had a contract, and then he stood one of his members up, who was a uh, a white man, so called white man, an Edomite. And said that he as well had a contract. And both of them together had a contract which gave them the right to the kingdom. Let's see if the Bible says that. Or if the Bible explains it that way. It doesn't. So well, the first thing you want to do is see who the covenant or and or the contract was for. Give me uh, Isaiah 59. Who was this covenant or contract? Who is it for? So we're going to uh, start at uh, 59 and uh, start at verse 20. Isaiah 59 and 20. And the Redeemer shall come to Zion, and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob. Say of in who? In Jacob. In Jacob. Come on. Say of Yah. Mm -hmm. 21. 21. 21. As for me, this is my covenant with them. As for me, this is my what? This is my covenant with them. This is my covenant and or contract with who? The people, the persons that we were talking about before is Jacob, right? Yes. In verse 20, right? Say of the Lord. All right, come on. My spirit that is upon thee. Mm -hmm. And my words which I have put in thy mouth mm -hmm. shall not depart out of thy mouth, Come on. nor out of the mouth of the seed, mm -hmm. nor out of the mouth of thy seed seeds, mm -hmm. saith Yah, for him, him forth and forever. Read verse 21 again. As for me, as for me, this is my covenant this with This is them. my covenant with Jacob mm -hmm. or so, with Zion. Saith the Most High. Come on. My spirit that is upon thee. My spirit that is upon thee. Come on. And my words which I, which I have put in thy mouth. And the words which you put which ye have put in their mouths, which is the law. Come on. Shall not depart out of thy mouth. Shall not depart out of the mouth of Jacob. Come on. Nor out of the mouth of the, of the seed. Nor out of the mouth of the children of Jacob. Nor out of the mouth of thy seed seed. Nor out of the mouth of the seeds or the descendants of Jacob. Saith the most high. Saith the most high. From henceforth and forever. Not forever. Mm -hmm. So the contract of, of teaching Yah's law, statutes, and commandments 
remains with the descendants of Jacob. How long did he say? Forever. 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 Meaning it will never stop. This is the covenant or contract he, he has with Jacob. Right? Mm -hmm. All right. Now we, that that should have ended it right there, huh? <laughs> Let's go to uh, Jeremiah 31. Jeremiah 31. 31 and uh, 31 31. We want to read uh, 31 on down to 36. Jeremiah 31 31. Behold, the days come, save the Most High, mm -hmm. that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel. Uh oh. Uh oh. And uh -oh. with the house of of Judah. Read that again. Read Behold, that. the days come, saith the Most High. Behold, the days are coming, saith the Most High. Meaning, they not now, but the days is coming. That I will make a new covenant. I'm going to make a new covenant. Come on. With the house of Israel. With the house of Israel. And with the house of Judah. And with the house of Judah. Come on. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. So what covenant did he make with uh, the children of Israel in the day with the forefathers uh, when he took them by the hand to lead them out of Israel? Which my covenant? Hold on. Hold on. Which, which, which covenant did he make? He made a covenant with us at Mount Sinai, didn't he? Mm -hmm. When he gave us the laws, right? And, he said, and we said, all that I have said, we, we are going to do. do. We made a contract, and it was a bloody mess after that, right? Blood was shed from the animals, and, Mo and Mo Moses, he threw blood and sprinkled blood on the people, and we cut covenant with Yah then and there, right? So there's not he's not talking about the old covenant. He's talking about a new covenant that's coming. And who did he say he was going to make it with? The house of Israel. The, the northern kingdom. And with the house of Judah. The southern kingdom. Come on, read on. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand mm -hmm. to bring them out of the land of Egypt, mm -hmm. which my covenant they break, mm -hmm. although I was a husband unto them. We so broke that first covenant, did we not? Mm -hmm. We broke that first covenant by being disobedient. We broke it. Come on. Saith the Most High. Mm -hmm. But this shall be the covenant mm -hmm. that I will make with with the house of Israel. Come on. After those days, saith the Most High. Come on. I will put my law in in their inward parts. Read. And write it in their hearts. Mm -hmm. And will be their their Yah. Mm -hmm. And they shall be my people. And, and what? And they shall be my people. And they shall be my people. They shall be my people. What verse is that? 33. 33. Read on. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor, mm -hmm. and every man his brother, saying, Know the Most High. Know the for, Most High. For they shall know all know me, mm -hmm. from the least of them unto the greatest of them. Come on. Save the Most High. Mm -hmm. For I will forgive their iniquity, mm -hmm. and I will remember their sin no more. Come on. Thus said the Most High, Watch which, this. which giveth the sun for, for a light by day. Gave us the sun for a light by day. Watch and, this. And the ordinance of the moon and the stars uh -huh. for a light by night. Read on. Which divideth the sea uh -huh. when the waves thereof roar. The Most High of hosts is his name. Watch this. If those ordinances depart from, from before me. If the sun go down and if the moon loses light. Come on. Saith the Most High, uh -huh. then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. That means the see the nation of Israel will be no more. That's the only way I'm giving up Israel. The Most High has declared it. He said the only way that Israel will stop being a nation for from before me, and the only way that I'm going to give Israel up. Is if the sun, sun stops shining and the moon loses light. The moon and the sun is going to cease to exist also. I'll never give Israel up. So nobody and no one else will have a covenant with Yah except Israel. Nobody. And no one will have a covenant with Yah Except Israel. I see the sun shining right now. Mm -hmm. Still a sun and it's still a moon. 
Yah's covenant with Israel yet remain. Let's go over to the New Testament because Paul says the same thing. Shaul, he says the same thing in Hebrews 8. Hebrews 8 and uh, 8 and 6. Hebrews 8 and 6. But now have he obtained a more excellent ministry. By how much also he is he is the mediator of a better covenant, which was established upon better promises. For if that that first covenant had been fault, faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. So if the first one if the first one was faultless, then it should be no place for the second. Come on. For finding fault with them, mm -hmm. he said, Behold. The days come, said the Most High, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel. So we're saying the same thing in the New Testament. He's going to make a new covenant with the house of Israel. And the house of Judah. And the house of Judah, meaning both kingdoms there together. We see that? Mm -hmm. Both northern and southern kingdom. The kingdom of Israel and the kingdom of Judah. Come on. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers. Didn't we just read this? Yeah. Not according to the covenant that he made with his fathers, meeting on Mount Sinai, come on. In the day when I took them by the hand mm -hmm. to lead them out of the land of Egypt, mm -hmm. because they continued not in my covenant, yeah. and I have regarded them not, mm -hmm. saith the Most High. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, mm -hmm. saith the Most High. Mm -hmm. I will put my laws in their mind mm -hmm. and write them in their hearts, mm -hmm. and I will be to them Yah. And they shall be to me a people. A people. A people. Before the prophet said my people. Right? Mm -hmm. Going to be a people. My people. Hallelujah. So this is the problem. We read Isaiah, Jeremiah, and Hebrews about the covenant that, that was given to the children of Israel. And about the new covenant that was coming that was also given to the children of Israel. So my dear brother Jakes, I don't understand what he meant about there's a, there's a new covenant or a contract given to everybody else under the Messiah. I don't see that as a, I don't see that in scripture. That can't be proven. What he said. That statement cannot be proven. Give me Isaiah 9 and 16. There's only one covenant. There was two covenants that was given. The old covenant, which was given in Mount Sinai, and the new covenant that was given under the Messiah. But both covenants was given for Israel and Israel alone. Isaiah 9, 16. For the leaders of this people cause them to err, and they that are led of them are destroyed. And they that are led of them are destroyed. Our leaders are blind and wicked. Some of our leaders are just blind because they don't know any better. Their eyes haven't been opened to this truth. And then there are others who are just wicked as hell. They open to this truth, they know this truth, but they teach something else. Or they choose to say or teach other things. Other than what the Most High has for his people. And they cause our people to err. Give me Zechariah 13 and uh, 8. That's right. They cause the people to err. Zechariah 13 and 8. Come on. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Most High, mm -hmm. two parts therein shall be cut off mm -hmm. and die, but the third shall be left therein. But the third shall be left therein. Two parts of Israel are going to die. Being led by blind leaders, not caring whether or not you're keeping the commandments, not caring. 
going to be put to utter damnation and death. But that one third is going to live and come through fire. Come on. And I will bring the third part through the fire. Come on. And will refine them as silver is refined. Mm -hmm. And will try them as gold is tried. That's why it's important to hold on. They shall call on my name. Mm -hmm. And I will hear them. Mm -hmm. I will say, it is my people. It is what? I will say, mm -hmm. it is my people. It is my people. The same people that I made the new covenant with. Come on. And they shall say, mm -hmm. the most high is Yah. Mm -hmm. So, you have blind leaders according to Isaiah 9 that will be leading the, be leading the people, causing them to err. And according to Zechariah, that two-thirds will be most of those blind people that wanted to be led astray. Because there's too much information out here now. For you to be reading behind somebody that's preaching or speaking and not reading, going behind what they just said. You can read it for yourself. Most of the times it's just pure de-laziness. You don't want to study it. You don't want to read it. I'll just take their word for it. It sounds good. Most of these mega church pastors are great orators. Make no mistake about it. They have a, a knack for it, a gift for it. That's right, because gifts and calling come without repentance. You don't have to. Listen, y'all place gifts in people when they're born. The certain uh, 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 charisma that people have, you know what I'm saying, that make people say, I've, I've, let me put it like this. I've watched one I say something that another I can say it. I watched one brother, let me say it like that. I watched one brother say something that another brother has said. The, the mirror image and the mirror reflection of what they have said. But one brother interested, had me interested in what he was saying, although he said the same thing that this brother said. I was not interested in what this brother said. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not that that brother was wrong. Mm -hmm. It's just that this brother had a certain way about him. A certain flair, a certain sound, a certain way that made me pay attention to what he was saying. So those type of gifts come without repentance. They come without repentance. You're born with that. You have entertainers that's not in truth that that can just that are. We just had one in the past, Richard Franklin. She's a major entertainer. This woman had one of the best voices in the world. Was she repented? No, she wasn't a repentant Israelite. But, but those, but she had that gift. You know what I'm saying? So just like you have T.D. Jakes, you have a Creflo Dollar, you have a, 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 a Marvin Wines, you have a, a, a Keith Butler, you have all of these different uh, mega church pastors. I don't know any of the new guys because I've been gone so long. But you have all these uh, mega church pastors that a lot of them have um, charisma. You know what I'm saying? They can be dead. They can be most, and most often, quite often, all, all them, like 98% of 9% of the time, they're wrong. You know what I'm saying? They're wrong with what they're saying, but people are paying attention because of the flair. The, 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 the Jake's knows the, and I'm talking about him because we're talking about what the statements that he made last week. He knows the, the, the oration on how to lift his voice and how to make it go down and how to bring it around and how to make his arm movements and you know what I'm saying <laughs> where people be like wow he, he he's really know what he's talking about and, and you know and he's wrong and he's wrong and I'm gonna go out on, I'm gonna go out with something I probably never said about him before because I didn't call him liars before because he was lying but I'm gonna say he purposely lied this time and I and I seen it I said, oh, he's lying. And he knows. And he knows he's lying. Yeah. And he's being slick. He's being untruthful and he knows he's being untruthful. So that's what makes you a devil. Right. When you deceive and you're purposely being deceitful, it makes you a devil. And you're being an enemy of the most high. Because you purposely misleading and deceiving the people. Purposely. Just like we have, uh, just like we see here in Isaiah 9. 
mm. blind and you're causing people the people the flock to err. Right. The people that err. So was we all is we done with Zechariah? Yep, yeah, that was Zechariah 13, 8 and 9. Okay, let me get Romans, Romans 1. Let's go to Romans, because this is where he went, and this is where we're going. This is where he went, and this is where we're going. Give me Romans 11. Romans 1 and 11? Uh, yeah, no, no. Romans uh, 11, and we we'll start at verse 1. Romans 11, verse 1. I say then, have Yah cast away his people? Has he cast his people away? God forbid. God forbid he has not cast Israel away. Nor will he never cast Israel away because the sun would have to depart and the moon would have to lose his light in order for Israel to be cast off or cast away. For I also am an Israelite. Paul says he said, I'm an Israelite. Come on. Of the seed of Abraham. And he says, I'm a, I'm a, a, a descendant of Abraham. Of the tribe of Benjamin. And more specifically, I come out of Benjamin. Verse 2. Yah hath not cast away his people, mm -hmm. which he foreknew. Mm -hmm. woke, woke ye not what the scripture saith of Elias, mm -hmm. how he maketh intercession to Yah mm -hmm. against Israel, saying, Yah, they have killed thy prophets, and dig down thy altars, and I am left alone. And they seek my life. What's the subject matter here? This is English 101. What's the subject matter? The subject matter is Israel. He's talking about Israelites, right? So he started off, and we are, what verse are we at? We're in verse 3? I just, I just ended 3. You ended 3? Yeah. So he started off explaining how he himself is an Israelite, a descendant of Abraham, and more specifically out of the, out of the tribe of Benjamin, right? He went on further to speak about the descendants of Abraham, uh, which are the Israelites. So the subject matter he's referring to is Israel and or Israelites, right? And I'm, I'm saying it like that so, so those who are watching or those who may be watching that are Christians that have never heard this thought or are confused on this thought, yeah. they would know to whom Paul is writing to. And he's writing to Israelites. And we see it very clearly there. Mm -hmm. The subject matter is Israel and or Israelites. Verse 4. Romans 11 and 4. Mm -hmm. But what saith the answers of Yah unto him? I have reserved myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Mm -hmm. Even so then, as this present time also there is a remnant According to the election of grace. Read it again, verse 5. Even so then. Even so then. At this present time also. At this, even so then right now, just like he reserved 7,000 in times past, 7,000 prophets that didn't bow to me, just like then, he's doing it even so now in this present time. He has a remnant according to the election of the chosen ones that he's giving grace to, or favor to, or time to repent. Read on. And if by grace, and if by grace, then then is it no more of works. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. Come on. But if it be of works, mm -hmm. then it is no more grace. Otherwise, work is no more work. The work is sacrifice. The work is the sacrificing of animals. Verse, uh, where are we at? Verse 7. seven. Yep. All right, read on. What then? Israel hath not attained that which he seeketh for. What is the subject matter again? We're going to stick with it. What is the subject matter again? Israel. Israel or Israelites. <laughs> the subject matter is Israel or Israelites. See, people, like, say for instance, you had a, keep your, uh, let me know, remind me where we at at. Say, for instance, uh, you had a, a a book. No, no, no. Say, for instance, you had a letter, right? The letter was addressed to, to you, right? No, the letter was addressed to me, right? And being that the, the letter had all kinds of stuff in it about me, you know what I'm saying? And then you found the letter, right? 
You pick the letter up and you start reading the letter, right? Why would you assume the letter's talking about you when it's not addressed to you? The letter is for you and you only. The letter was for me and me only. You just happen to be reading the letter. So it's the same thing with, with the scripture here. Why did why do Jake's or anybody else think that they could pick the letter up and say, oh, this is talking about everybody? It's addressing, it's addressing a certain group of people. And we can tell that by sticking with the subject matter. See, the Christian church like to go in and out of scripture. Mm -hmm. They throw this out and keep this. Throw that out and keep this. Put that away and keep this. No, that don't mean nothing to keep that. No. This is talking about Israel and Israelites. Subject matter. Subject matter. What verses we at? We have seven. We have seven? Okay, come on. What then? Israel have not attained that which he seeketh for. Mm -hmm. But the election hath attained it. But the who? But the election hath obtained it. The chosen have attained, obtained it. And the rest were blind. And the rest were blind guides. Blinded. Who now who who was the elect? Who was the elect? Mm -hmm. Isaiah 45 and 4. You know the scripture I'm going to. Isaiah 45 and 4 tells you who the elect is. Very familiar. We, we hear that all the time. Proving who the elect is. Isaiah 4, 4, 45 and 4. Isaiah 45 and 4. For Jacob my servant's sake, mm -hmm. and Israel mine elect. Who's the elect? Israel mine elect. Uh -huh. I have even called thee by thy name. Mm -hmm. I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. Hallelujah. Go back to Romans. Romans uh, 7. 11 and 7. So, so the elect is Israel. The elect is Israel. I want, the, I want the viewer, I want the viewing people to understand the elect is Israel. All right, let's get it. Romans 11 and 7. Mm -hmm. What then? Israel have not attained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it. Mm -hmm. And the rest were blind. And the rest were blind. Give me uh, 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 no, I want to keep going. Verse 8. <laughs> According as it is written, Yah ha hath given them the spirit of slumber. He made them slumber or lazy. Come on. Eyes that they should not see. When we just read that in Isaiah, blind guides, right? Eyes that they should not see. Come on. And ears that they should not hear until this day. Until this very day. Some of these pastors and preachers cannot see what's before them. What they're reading, they're blind to it. It became a stumbling block to them. Give me Matthew, uh, give me Matthew 15 and 14. Matthew 15 and 14. Let them alone, that they, they be blind leaders of the blind. They be what? They be blind leaders of the blind. You have blind leaders of the blind. You see how messed up that is? The people are blind and the leadership is blind. Now we'll go over to Matthew 23 and uh, 15. The people are blind. The leaders are blind. Matthew 23 and 15. Woe unto you scribes and Pharisees, mm -hmm. hypocrites, for ye compass see and land to make one proselyte. And when he had, when he is made, ye make him twofold more the child of hell than yourselves. So listen, listen, you, you blind leadership, you blind leaders, you make them more, you, you make, you convert them and make them just like you. That's what it meant by proselyte. You proselyte, you proselyte them, you convert them and make them just like you, even more blind. Before they was innocent and blind. Right. But you brought them in under your tutelage and made them even more blind. It made them twice the hell that you that you cause. Because now they just believe everything that you say. And you was blind as hell. And you have made them twice the devil that you was. Is that all 15? Yeah. 
Read, uh, read on down to 17. Read down 16 and 17. <clears throat> Woe unto you, ye blind guides, which mm. say, Whosoever shall swear by the temple, it is nothing. But whoever shall swear by the gold of the temple, he is a debtor. Ye fools and blind, mm -hmm. for whether it is greater, the gold or the temple that sacrificed this. So, was the that gold. The, yeah. Whether the temple or was it, just read it again, I messed you up, read it again. Ye fools and blind, mm -hmm. for whether it is greater, the gold or the temple that sanctifieth the gold. Mm -hmm. You fool, what is greater? What is greater? Is it, uh, is it what you have? Is greater, or is it this word that makes you greater? This word, this word makes us greater. This word makes us greater. Let's go back to Romans. Romans eleven. Romans eleven. Yeah. Y'all having fun yet? <laughs> Shut them down. You want to start back at eight? Yeah. Yeah, start back at uh yeah, start back at eight. Romans eleven and eight. According as it is written, Yah have given them a spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear until this day. And David said, Let their table be made a snare, and a trap, and a stumbling block, and a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back all way. What verse is that? 10. Or read on. I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? And have they stumbled that they should fall? Watch this. Yah forbid. Mm -hmm. But rather through their fall, salvation is coming to the Gentiles. Uh oh. Uh oh. For to provoke them to jealousy. So this is where they get this from. That's right. This is where they get this from. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Read it again. I say then. What's this, verse 11? Yep. Mm -hmm. no. Romans 11, 11. All right, come on. I say then, uh -huh. have they stumbled that they should fall? Have, have, have they stumbled, these, these blind guides, these leaders of Israel, have they stumbled that they should fall? Watch what he says. Y'all forbid. No, this is not why they stumbled. But I'm going to tell you why they stumbled. Come on. But rather through their fall. But rather through their fall. Salvation has come unto the Gentiles. Salvation has come unto the northern kingdom. For to provoke them to jealousy. To provoke southern kingdom who has always kept the law to jealousy. Let me explain it again. Read verse 11. <laughs> I say then. Uh huh. Have they stumbled that they should fall? Has these blind guys, these Pharisees, these scribes and Pharisees, have they stumbled that they should fall? Come on. Yah forbid. Yah forbid means no. But rather through their fall. But rather because of their fall, meaning they fell because they did not believe on Messiah and they killed the Messiah. But rather do that, come on. Salvation is coming to the Gentiles. Salvation was able to go into the northern kingdom that they might be saved. Come on. For to provoke them to jealousy. To provoke the southern kingdom to jealousy. Because guess what? The southern kingdom always kept the laws. So why should these northern kingdomers get the same thing that we get. That's the mindset. Why they gonna get what we got? We never left y'all. Left y'all. Because the northern kingdom, remember, was wicked as hell. Yeah. They started all kind of idols, built all kind of other temples. They was doing all kinds of, they tried to make the Leviticus priests uh, uh, serve other idols. They was doing all kind of hell. But no, rather than they should fall. This is why he did this. Should, should, did, well, did this happen so they just so they could fall? No. He did it and blind them just so the northern kingdom could come in. And the reason why they, people become confused on this because they do not know the history of northern and southern kingdom. So all it is is a history lesson that needs to be taught. They don't know the history of northern and southern kingdom 
and the southern, northern kingdoms being called Israelites, and even some of the southern kingdoms. Let's get that in the pocket for. Let's get that in the pocket. Uh, the pocket for. Second uh, uh, Maccabees six. Excuse me. Uh, six and uh, six and eight. Start at verse eight. Second Maccabees six and eight. Moreover, there went out a decree to the neighbors neighbor cities of the heathen by the suggestion of Potlame against the Jews. Ptolemy. Ptolemy against the Jews that they should observe the same fashions and be partakers of their sacrifices. And whosoever would not conform themselves to the manners of the Gentiles. Go see, read it again. And whoso, whoso would not conform themselves to the manners of the Gentiles. So whoever would be like, dress like, act like uh, the manner of the Gentiles. Come on. Should be put to death. Should be put to death. Then might a man, man hang seen the present misery. Mm -hmm. For there were two women brought who had circumcised their children. This is what the kind of things that the, uh, the heathen nations was doing to our brothers and sisters because they didn't, because they wouldn't uh, convert to what they wanted them to convert to. Read it again. For there were two women brought who had circumcised their children, uh -huh. whom, whom, whom when they had open, open, openly led round about the city, mm -hmm. the babies hanging out their breasts, they cast them down headlong from the wall. So they threw, they killed the children because they were circumcised. So we didn't we tell you Israelites not to circumcise your boys. Mm -hmm. We tell you women not to do that. So they cut their breasts off and they threw their babies down the uh, head long down the wall. Mm -hmm. They threw them off of the building. Mm -hmm. They threw their babies off the building and they cut their breasts off so they couldn't have no more children. Mm -hmm. Well, they could have children. They just they couldn't feed them. them. Yeah. So... We don't want to talk about the church. The Christian church doesn't want to talk about the ugly, ugly history. They just want to be in, in this happy place. I got faith enough to move mountains. I got faith enough to get a new car. I got faith enough to get well, more prosperity. I'm going to get my money. I'm going to get mine. Love, doctor. They don't want to talk about the horrible history of a people. And they don't want to talk about the horrible history of, of the one that they, that they say they love and they really don't. Because he said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. And they do not. And they do not. What is it? John 14 and 15. Read it. John 14 and 15. Say, if you love me, you keep my commandments. Get it out. And you don't do this. If you don't do this, then stop lying and saying you love me because you don't. John 14 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Mm -hmm. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, mm -hmm. that he may abide with you forever. Hallelujah. Let's go back to Romans 9. We read that history. Let's go back to Romans. What, ver what verse was we at uh, in Romans? 12. 12. Romans 11. Yeah, it was uh, 11 and 12. Mm -hmm. Romans 11 and 12. Mm -hmm. Now if the fall of them be the riches of the world mm -hmm. and the diminishing of them, the riches of the Gentiles, how much more their how much more their foolishness, their fullness. For I speak to you Gentiles, mm -hmm. in as much as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, mm -hmm. I magnify my office. Read that again, because for some reason. Uh, the consensus is, and I know what it is, the consensus is that um, we are Gentiles and we we are Gentiles and we have been bought with a price. It sounds so good, don't it? We've been bought with a price by Jesus Christ. We are Gentiles. Bought with a price by Jesus Christ. Sound good, don't it? Oh, good. Read, read, read 13 again. For I speak to you Gentiles. Speak to you Gentiles. And we, as, just, we just read that some uh, Jews were made to be Gentiles. So we just read that 
in Maccabees. They were made to be Gentiles. Come on. And as much as I am the apostle of the Gentiles. As I am the, uh, the apostle of the Gentiles. I magnify mine office. I'm going to magnify my office. Give me 2 Corinthians. Uh, uh, I think it's 2 Corinthians 12 and 2. I always get confused. See the first thing. It's not 1 Corinthians. It's 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians 12 and 2. 2 Corinthians 12 and 2. Do I speak with? Is that it? No, I say I know a man in Christ about 14. Years. That's two. That's is that 2 Corinthians? Yeah. Try, give me 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians 12. 1 Corinthians 12, yeah. Do I speak with tongues? No, I say you know. That we were Gentiles. That's it. That's what I want. That's what I want. First Corinthians twelve and two. Uh -huh. Ye know that ye were Gentiles. You know that you were. So read it again. Ye know that ye were Gentiles. You know that ye were Gentiles. You cannot be a word <laughs> if you wasn't in the beginning. Carried away unto these dumb idols. The dumb idols was back us. We just read it. Even as ye were led. As you was led to do. You was made to do that. Come on. Wherefore I give you to understand. Mm -hmm. That no man speaking by the spirit of Yah. That's what I wanted. That's all I wanted. Was verse. Uh, read it again. The verse. verse that verse one and two. Or that's, that's two and like half of three. Half of three. No I wanted. Uh, give me one and two. Read one and two. First Corinthians 12. Mm -hmm. One and two. Not concerning spiritual gifts brethren. Mm -hmm. I now, who? So not concer not, now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren. Brethren. He's calling them brothers. Mm -hmm. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brothers. Now this don't this is not saying Paul is calling them spiritual Israelites, calling them brothers. No. Because he we just read 11 and 1 where he says, I myself am an Israelite. I myself am an Israelite. Now concerning these spiritual gifts, brethren, come on. I would not have you ignorant. Don't be stupid. Come on. Ye know that ye were Gentiles. You know, you know, brothers, you know that you were Gentiles. Carried away unto these dumb idols. Mm -hmm. You can't be, you can't be a word Gentile. Right. Even as Gentiles, Gentiles is 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 people of other nationalities of other nationalities you were a gentile meaning you were of a mindset you were of a different mindset or a gentile mindset mm -hmm. you were you were of an african american mindset it's just like saying that or you was of a a, a, a latino mindset you had a hispanic lines mindset you were of a gentile you did the things that those heathens made you do and you grew up in that thing. And you grew up in that thing. All right, let's get uh, let's go back to Romans. Let's read it down. Read on down. Thirteen again. Since we know what what he's talking about, how he's referring to Gentiles, let's read thirteen again with a full and better understanding. Romans eleven and thirteen. Mm -hmm. For I speak to you, Gentiles. Northern Kingdom. And as much as I am an apostle of the Gentiles, Northern Kingdom, I magnify mine office. I magnify my office. If by any means I may provoke to em Emula emulation. Em emulation. Emulation. Emulation means to be equal to. That's how I. That's how we know that he's not talking about people of another nation. Because emulation means to be equal to. To be equal to. Come on. To them which are in. Are all my flesh? Read it again, verse fourteen, the first, the first sentence. Watch this. If by any means I may provoke to emulation, to them, be equal to them, come on, which are my flesh, which are in my flesh, which are in my flesh, which are in my flesh, meaning other Israelites, mm -hmm. other Israelites, come on, and might save some of them. It might save some of my brothers. It might save some of my brothers. It might save some of my fellow Israelites, my uh, fellow brothers. Immunization means to be equal to, to be equal to in the flesh. Somebody might save some of my, my fellow Northern Kingdom brothers. Verse, uh, come on, verse 15. 
Romans 11 and 15. For if the casting away of them be the re reconciling of the world. For if the casting away of them. This man is telling you exactly who he's talking about. What shall the receiving of them be? What shall the receiving of them be? Right? Come on. But life from the dead. But from the, but from the casting away of them be the reconciling of the world. That world of Israel coming back. Coming back of Israel. Come on. For if the first fruit be holy, uh -huh. the jump is also holy. The lump is also holy, meaning that word holy, you know what it means. It means to be set apart. Set apart. Come on, watch this. And if the root be holy, and if the root be set apart, so are the branches. So are the branches. Hold on. Wait a minute. Let's read verse 16 again. Let's get clarity on what's going on here. For if the fruit be holy. So if the first fruits mean those that I produce after myself which is my fruit meaning the testimony of Yahushua Messiah that I that I come and teach and the gospel that I preach to you and you become my fruit and you become set apart. That word holy means set apart and you become set apart. Watch this. Come on. The lump is also holy. The lump is also the lump is also set apart meaning Meaning that first part, that first part is set apart. Come on. Mm -hmm. And if this. the root be holy. And if the very root be set apart. So are the branches. So are the branches. Let's get Revelations. Let's find out who the root is. Revelations 5 and 5. And then I want somebody to give me that, that scripture. I don't, uh, it's in Matthew. I want somebody to find it for me. Find it for me. Uh, no, it's uh, uh, I am the vine. That's what I want. It's in Matthew. Uh, it's Matthew. I am the vine. You are the branches. I am the vine. You are the branches. Give me uh, Revelation 5 and 5. Revelation 5 and 5. And one of the elders saith unto me, mm -hmm. Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah. The what? The lion of the tribe of Judah. The lion of the tribe of Judah. The root of David. The root, the root of David, the root of David. Have prevailed to open the book. Have prevailed to open the book. Now run on, go over to uh, Revelation 22 and 16. That the root of David, the lion out of the tribe of David, talking about the Messiah, and the root of David. Come on. I, Yehoshua, uh -huh. have sent my angel uh -huh. to testify unto you these things in the churches. Mm -hmm. I am the root. I am the root. And the offspring of David. And the offspring of David. Did you find the scripture for me? Uh, it's, in, it's in Matthew. I uh, I am the vine, you are the branches. It's Matthew. It's Matthew. Uh, uh, Matthew. Seventeen, I think. Is it Matthew seventeen? I am the vine; ye are the branches. I got. Let me see. Got a Bible right here. It's uh, John fifteen. And it's what? John fifteen and five. It's John fifteen. John fifteen. Who's? I think we was just in fifteen, wasn't we? You read something out of fifteen, right? John. You read something out of fifteen. So what's the scripture again? Say it. It was Matthew five. Fifteen and five. Give me John 15 and 5. Yeah. I hope they, I hope they follow. I hope you follow along. <laughs> John 15 and 5. I am the vine. I am the vine. Ye are the branches. Ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, uh -huh. and I in him, uh -huh. the same bringeth forth much fruit. The same bringeth forth much fruit. Fruit. Now. Let's get understanding. Let's get understanding. Mm -hmm. Yehoshua said, I am the root of David. The root and the vine is the same thing. <laughs> I am the root of David, he declares, and, and uh, revelations. And then he says, and he says, I am the I am the vine, and you are the branches, right? Mm -hmm. So if you if you are a branch, the, comp, the spring out of the root or the vine, 
Don't that mean the same thing? Right. You're a part of it. You're a part of it. Yet that don't mean that you have an apple tree. You have an apple tree, and then orange tree branches can be connected to an apple tree and continue to grow oranges. No. Yoshua said, I'm the root of David. I'm the offspring of David. The one scripture said, I'm the lion of Judah, given his tribe. I'm the lion of Judah, and given his lineage, and the offspring of David. Did he not say that? That's what he said. Then you go right back to uh, Matt, uh, John 15, it says, I am the vine, and ye are the branches. Meaning, you come from me, you just like me. We got to be of the same people, of the same nation. Right? All right, now let's go to Romans. Read verse 16. Now we got to understand what the scriptures we came with, precepts we, we went and got. Let's go back to uh, Rep, uh, Romans uh, 11 and 16. Romans 11 and 16. Come on. For if the first fruit be holy. So if the first fruit be set apart. The lump is also holy. The lump is also set apart. And if the root be holy. And if the root who is Yahushua Messiah be so, set apart. So are the branches. So are the branches. So are the branches of the same nation as the root. The same nation as the vine. Same nation. Let's read on. And if some of the branches be broken off. In some of the, where, where are we at? 17. 17. All right, come on. And if some of the branches be broken off. If now, some of the branches were broken off because the northern kingdom left the southern kingdom. So if some of the branches be broken off, let's read. Mm -hmm. And thou being a wild olive tree. And they went off and did their own, th uh, did their own thing. Come on. Work grafted in amongst them. Work, work grafted in among them. Come on. And with them partake it uh -huh. of the root of the fatness of the olive tree. And with them partake of the root, which is Yoshua Messiah, and the fatness of the olive tree. The fatness, the, that fatness is the word of God. Come on. Boast not against the branches. Don't boast against the branches. But if thou boast. But if you boast, come on. Thou bearest not the fruit, you not, not the root. You're not a part of your own society. But but the root thee. Come on. Thou wilt say then, the branches were broken off. Now the branches were broken off. That I might be grafted in. That I might be grafted in. Now hold on a second. T.D. Jakes have said, and this is why I keep going back to him in his statement. He said, I've been grafted in. I've been grafted in. I've been grafted in. <laughs> I've been grafted in. This brother been grafted in. And this sister, she been grafted in. You know. Everybody been grafted in. Mm -hmm. How you gonna be grafted back to something you was never part of? If you didn't listen. <laughs> listen. Tree limbs. You, did y'all know tree limbs can heal themselves? Or branches can heal, the, heal themselves once they're broken? So, if you got a tree that's been broken, and the limb is broken halfway off, and it's hanging just about to fall off terror, you can actually lift that branch, wrap that branch tight, until it, and, and, and prop it up, and the, and the branch will heal itself. It would, it would make a graph onto itself just like your skin mm -hmm. and it will begin to heal itself. There be, might be a blemish there, but it will begin to heal itself. Mm -hmm. That's just like your natural body. Mm -hmm. You'll make a break, a tear in your skin and you and, and you can heal it and it will begin to heal yourself. Or, and or, they have skin grafts mm -hmm. where you can take skin off one part of your body and put it on another part of your body. In the begin to heal itself. You can't be a branch that comes from somewhere else and get hooked on to the root when you were never a part of that root to begin with. Apples and oranges. 
apple trees, apples don't grow on orange trees. And orange trees, <laughs> oranges don't grow on apple trees. <laughs> How you gonna be grafted in again when you were never there in the first place? So this can only be talking about the same subject matter that we've been talking about since the beginning. Israel. Only Israel. I had another precept too. In Jeremiah eleven ten. No, Jeremiah eleven sixteen. Jeremiah eleven and sixteen. The Most High called thy name, a green olive tree, fair and of goodly fruit. With the noise of a great tumult, he hath kindled fire upon it, and the branches of it are broken. And the what? And the branches of, of it are broken. He called the name of Israel, and the branches of it are broken. These are the branches that Paul was talking about. These are the branches. Again, give me, give me Isaiah 61 and 2. I think it's 61 and 2. Yeah, 61 and 2. Isaiah 61 and 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the of the uh, most high and the day of vengeance of our Yah, to comfort all them all that mourn, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called. Trees of righteousness. That they might be called trees of righteousness. Come on. The planting of the Most High. The planting of the Most High. That he might be glorified. That he might be glorified. These trees are men. These trees are men. The planting of the Most High. Yes, the branches that were broken off are now being grafted in again. Are being grafted in again. Go back to Romans. We getting there? We getting there? Okay. All right. Romans 11 and 20. Come on. Well, because of unbelief, they were broken off. And thou standest by faith. No, we missed 19, didn't we? No, we read it. I'll read it again. Okay. Romans 11 and 19. Mm -hmm. Thou was say then. The branches were broken off that I might be grafted in. Mm -hmm. Well, because of unbelief, they were broken off. And thou standest by faith. Be not high minded, but, but fear. fear. Come on. For if Yah spare not the natural branches, mm -hmm. take heed l lest he also spare not thee. Mm -hmm. Behold, therefore, the goodness and the sever severity of Yah on them which fail. Severity, but towards thee. Goodness, if thou continuest in his goodness. Otherwise, thou also shalt be cut off. And they also, mm -hmm. if they bind not still in unbelief, Watch this. shall be grafted in. Mm -hmm. For Yah is, also, is able to graft them in again. Say it again. Yah is able to graft them in again. Graft them in again. Graft them in again, meaning they were already once there. This is the same meaning of the, of the word, or this phrase is the same meaning of the word reconcile. Mm -hmm. To be reconciled is to, means to be grafted in again. Same meaning. Meaning they were once there. So, anybody who was not an Israelite stock, is anybody who was not of Israelite blood, Guess what? How could you be reconciled to Yah? Or how could you be grafted in? You, can't, you couldn't be. You could not be. Because you would have to be grafted in again. Again. Paul knows exactly what he's saying. <laughs> grafted in again. Reconciled. Same thing. Verse 24. We almost there. Verse 24. For if thou were cut out of the olive tree, if you was cut out the olive tree, come on, which is wild by nature, come on, 
and were grafted contrary to nature into mm -hmm. a good olive tree. And were brought back into this fold or back to the Messiah. Come on. How much more shall these which be the natural branches mm -hmm. be grafted into their own olive tree? Now the natural branches is those Israelites that never left Yah. That's what Paul is talking about. Those southern kingdom Israelites who were still under the letter of the law who had never left Yah. Mm -hmm. That's what the natural branches is. Okay, I just want to draw to make sure y'all had that understanding. Come on. For I would not, brethren, mm -hmm. that ye should be ignorant of this mystery. Don't be mystery. Don't be ignorant of this mystery. Come on. Lest ye should be wise in your own conceit. Watch this. That blindness in part is happened to Israel. What is the subject matter? Israel. <laughs> what is the subject matter? We on verse 25 from verse 1. The subject matter is still, still yet still, Israel. Blindness in part has happened to Israel. Come on. Until the fullness of the Gentiles become in. The other Israelites that don't know Yah. Other Israelites, nor the kingdom of Israelites that's been spread abroad, that do not know Yah. And that still have a Gentile, Gentile mindset. Verse 26 sums it all up. And so all Israel shall be saved. So all of Israel shall be saved. Verse 26, the first part of that, tells us what he's been talking about this whole time. All of Israel. Not all of Israel and other people. So that don't make sense for him to say in verse 25 that uh, the, 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 the blindness happened to Israel to the Gentiles be fulfilled and then come right behind it and say, so all Israel shall be saved. So the Israelites, the Gentiles, is the same people. It's just those Israelites sometimes were called Gentiles who did not follow the letter of the law. Same people. Same people. Same people. Read verse 26. And so all Israel shall be saved. Mm -hmm. As it is written, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer. The Messiah, come on. And shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. Israel, come on. Verse For 26. this is my covenant if unto this them. This is my covenant unto them. This is my covenant, my contract, Jakes, unto Israel. No one else. You know, the, the Edomite brother that he stood up don't have a covenant with Yah. He got a promise from Yah of destruction, but not a covenant. Come on. For this is my covenant unto them, uh -huh. when I shall take away their sins. As, according, as concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sake. Mm -hmm. But as touching the election, they are beloved for the Father's sake. Mm -hmm. For the gifts and calling of Yah are without repentance. Didn't I say this earlier? The first, one of the first things I said, gifts and calling are come without repentance. Come on. For as ye in times past mm -hmm. have not believed Yah, mm -hmm. yet have now obtained mercy. That's through. grace right there. You obtain mercy. That's grace. Mm -hmm. You didn't believe Yah. You have now in times past. You didn't believe Yah. But now you obtain mercy. That's grace. Come on. Yet have now obtained mercy through their unbelief. Mm -hmm. Even so have these also now not believed, that through your mercy they also may obtain mercy. Come on. For Yah have concluded them all in unbelief, mm -hmm. that he might have mercy upon all. Grace. Come on. Oh, the debt of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of Yah. Come on. How unsearchable are his judgments. What has he done? The way he done this thing is wonderful and powerful. Come on. And his ways pass finding out. You can't understand why he did this. He split the kingdoms up and then brought them back together under one king. That's your also Messiah. And we know that the older ways of what he's done is far surpassed our understanding. Come on. For who have known the mind of the Most High? You can't know his mind. Come on. Or who have been his counsel? You can't even tell. You can't tell. Tell him what to do. Come on. Or who have first given to him. Mm -hmm. And this shall be recompense unto him again. Read. For of him and through him. Come on. And to him. Come on. Are all things. Mm -hmm. To whom be glory forever. Forever. Amen. And ever, ever. And ever. 
<laughs> that right there is a proper understanding yes. of Romans the 11th chapter. That is the proper understanding. See, that's not an arrogant statement that I'm making either. Mm -hmm. That is the proper understanding of Romans the 11th chapter. Let me go uh, Romans 9. Romans 9. We're almost done here. Romans 9 and 1. We're going to read on down because this scripture right here busts the head of anybody that's, that believe that uh, that these other nations are, are, are gaining salvation, going to get salvation, or obtaining the kingdom. Revelation, and it's a New Testament, so far New Testament scripture. Romans uh, 9 and 1. Romans 9. Hold on, let me get it. Let me get it to you. Let me get it to Yes, that's the proper understanding. Romans 9 and 1. Start at verse 1. I. Romans 9 and 1. I say the truth in Amashiach. I lie not. Mm -hmm. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Ghost that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Amashiach. For my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. Read verse 3 again. For I could wish that myself were accursed mm -hmm. from Amashiach. For my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. Who is Paul writing to? Who are Israelites, uh -huh. to whom pertaineth the adoption. The adoption. Who pertaineth, who are Israelites. He told you who his brothers was, right? Mm -hmm. He said his brothers, according to the flesh, who are Israelites. Who are Israelites. Read on. And the glory. No, no, read on, verse 4. Who are Israelites, uh -huh. to whom pertaineth the adoption. To who obtaineth the adoption. That word adoption right there freaks a lot of people out because they say, oh, I must be adopted back into, he adopted us. Since I'm not an Israelite, I, I can be adopted. We're going we gonna to get that true understanding of what that is in a minute. Let's read on. And the glory. So, so the Israelites, that word pertaineth, mean belongs to, right? So the so belong so who are Israelites whom it belongeth. The adoption belongs to the Israelites. And the glory, meaning the esteem, mm -hmm. the glory belongs to the Israelites. Read on. And the covenant. The covenants, that's is that a plural word? Yes. yes. That means both old, old covenant and new. and new covenant. And both covenants belong only to to the Israelites. Read on. And the giving of the law. The law was given only to the Israelites. Yes. Only. To 